All right, this is a wellness reading for Libra. And I, I do go over where you are, uh, past, present, and future aspects of wellness, you know, type things. Also, some obstacles that may be in your way, um, either done by you self-inflictedly or by a third party. Um, that kind of puts stuff on you because they believe that that's your job, not their job. I do have cats, so they're, you're going to hear my cats. Um, because I'm in my garage. I'm not in the house right now because stuff's, stuff's going on. And I'm also doing my life purpose as tripod. I'm not the best tripod, but I'm trying. So just bear with me. All right, let's start off with the f the first card, which is the moon. The moon is subtly mysterious um, and instinct. We have the sun, so clarity, um, simplicity, and new life. We have the ten of cups, plans set in motion. We have the tower which is a revelation or drastic shift in perspective. We have the Ace of Wands, which is overcoming desire, building trust and courage. We have the Six of Cups, which is love, beauty and union. We have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is wisdom, experience and authority. And the Five of Pentacles, which is tradition, spirituality, and authority. Um, maybe some deception, too. So, there's something here that is kind of blindsiding you. I feel like there's a lot of things that are not being expressed to you or not being told to you. I'm just going to focus on uh, one card. Um, so, it could be... Um, a job promotion or it could be a a relationship so there could be a bit of information that you're not exactly getting or being informed of in certain situations so <coughs> excuse me so it might be holding up your plans or it might kind of be a bit of a delay so um, in the past, it might have been a delay, or in the present, it might be a delay. So, you're trying to set your plans in motion and move forward into the future, and there's kind of a little bit of stop and wait kind of things going on right now. So, it might be a while, but it's it's going to start working soon, okay? Um, but also... There is going to be um, a development of a lifestyle or a relationship as well. Okay? So some advice for you for this moment in your life. Uh, we have remember, enjoy, roll with it, or flow with it. Expect the unexpected. Believe in yourself. Uh, follow your heart. Remember, respect yourself, and obey what is necessary um some some stuff might be a little bit outlandish at the moment so you might be like i don't think i can do that but um you know you kind of have to hold yourself accountable and know your boundaries with certain situations and i feel like that's a big thing too all right um so your obstacles that could be self-inflicted or third party um being put on you is wisdom experience and authority you could be moving beyond sorrow and understanding your own feelings with a certain situation as well as, uh, let's see, a triumph and a breakthrough with an inventive situation. So you might have to like resolve a certain issue or actually problem solve a particular issue. Also, we have balance and moderation. So you might have to know your boundaries with certain things or certain people so then you can kind of do your own thing 
um, and have time off. I feel like if you get too consumed with work, they'll, you know, the higher ups will take advantage of you and, you know, you'd be worn out and they'll be wondering why you're not going 100% of the time. <laughs> I've been in those situations. It's better to do self-care than it is not to, okay? So, and take time to yourself. So, let's see, channeled messages. We have a creative idea, a writer's pen, mental health specialist. We have suffering for your art and feeling bad about yourself. Being loved and appreciated, feeling at home, uh, children, uh, popularity and admiration, a fortunate opportunity, a childhood dream, a dream come true, a fighting for popularity, a successful new beginning, helping someone who needs you, feeling needed, a new relationship, falling in love, a new boss, a new authority, feeling low in spirit, fatigue, sick, or feeling a little broke. So you might be broke with money or you might be broke somewhere else. Um, <coughs> which is interesting. So you have a wheel and you have the king of swords here. So it's kind of like you might have been lucky up until a point. You know, it's, it's a very Aries related issue. So feel like somebody else was kind of an obstacle. It could have been a relationship or something else, you know. Um, so, hopefully you can recover and feel good about yourself. But feeling like low spirits has me a bit worried about you. So, you need to take some self-care days or some days off for yourself so that you can recharge and feel better, okay? Nobody should run themselves to the point of no return. I mean, I myself took, what, four or five months off because I was feeling burned out. Like, I, I couldn't come up with new ideas for my content. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with my other job, you know, my bread and butter job. So, you know, it was just like a, a downward spiral and I kind of wanted to get back to the middle I didn't have to be on top. I had to be in the middle where I felt comfortable. All right, so that's kind of what you might have to do too. Just take some time off, reevaluate, find yourself, understand who you are as a person and what you want to achieve, okay? And sometimes what you want to achieve you haven't discovered yet, okay? So it could be ever-changing or cycling where you kind of go from one cycle to the next which is fine. Um, I think all cycles in life have to come to an end at some point, even the most um, authentic or, you know, wealthy point of view. So just do some self-care things. Just do some good stuff for yourself. All right, and treat yourself. You know, you can only spoil yourself <laughs> because you know thine self pretty much. But, um, yeah. Anyway, Libra, hopefully this helps you out. Take care of yourself, and I will be doing some other content on a different platform. I haven't decided yet, but a lot of my content isn't being uploaded to YouTube, and I feel really bad that some of my fans that like the true crime stuff and the love ratings um, won't be enjoying their favorite content anymore, so... Um, I'm trying to figure out which platform would accept all that content for my fans. So, you know, it's going to be a long couple months trying to figure all that out. But hopefully I can get it done, you know. Anyway, Libra, I will see you in the next reading. And hopefully everything goes all right. Take some time off. Just <laughs> put your feet up and watch some TV shows. And, I don't know, order Chinese food or something. But, um, you know, do some, do some good stuff. Do, do some spoiling, you know, you need that. Anyway, I will see you later, okay?